want to talk more about taking care of alpacas in Oklahoma with Dr. Melanie Boilo, who is a food animal veterinarian here at OSU. And Dr. Boilo, let's start by talking about the suitability of alpacas in an environment like Oklahoma. So that's a very good question. The alpacas are um, from the South America, the High Plains. And so they're used to cool, dry winters and fairly mild summers. And they are also housed on several acres. And so when they come to Oklahoma, they have to be stocked in, you know, much less acres most of the time, depending on the, how much land the producer has. And uh, also they have to deal with the heat and the humidity of Oklahoma. And so those are kind of the two things that you know, would be a big difference from where they are from originally. If you are gonna own alpacas in Oklahoma, you need to be aware that they are very prone to heat stress, just because again, they have a very thick fiber coat. And so there's a lot of prevention type of measure that can be done, one of which is shearing. And in the Southern states like Oklahoma, that should be done before May 1st. And what kind of things do alpacas like to eat? They are herbivores, um, and so they are actually very efficient herbivores. They do well on, um, you know, just hay, as long as it's decent protein content, eight, nine percent or so. They can be supplemented with pellets. There are some commercially available alpaca pellets. Um, if you, if the producer cannot find those in their area, they can use a sheep type of pellets. Um, we don't want to use horse, cattle, or goat type pellets because it has too much copper. They're not going to handle that. And then that's the same thing for the salt-based mineral mix. If you have to go to the next step, it would be a sheep mineral. So that's kind of a very abbreviated version of their feeding. Just tell us a little bit about what they produce, their coats. So um, when it's shearing time, like I mentioned earlier, and you know, that, that could be done as a prevention for heat stress, but also if they harvest that fiber, they can make various pieces of clothing. And certainly that could be um, a, an extra revenue for those alpaca producers. And those gloves are a good example. They, they are very durable, very warm. Um, and fairly similar to wool, but I think the durability is much, much better. Yeah. Okay, great information. Thank you very much. Some good information about alpacas. Dr. Melanie Boilo, a food animal veterinarian here at Oklahoma State University. <laughs>